Hello again everyone, I'm Rob. Welcome back to our series of virtual walks, bringing the English countryside to you and helping you to exercise at home. Come and enjoy some country walks with me and Edith, the miniature schnauzer. Today we have a 25 minute walk at the end of April, when the new leaves are on the trees. Come and join us. At the moment, we're all locked down due to the coronavirus and only allowed out once a day for exercise. I'm very fortunate that where we're walking now is only five minutes from my front door. The trees that you can see here now are beech trees. Some of these will be over 200 years old. The leaves on these beech trees are very new, probably less than a week old. The leaves of the beech trees form a tight canopy which excludes the light and so nothing much grows on the ground beneath the trees in the forest. The shorter green trees to the left of us are holly trees, which are of course famous for their red berries in the winter. The trees that you can see now are a mix of beech and oak, which are the main native broadleaf trees that grow in this forest. From the early 18th century onwards, New Forest Oaks provided ever increasing quantities of timber for the Royal Navy. In 1805, the year of the Battle of Trafalgar, it was estimated that one and a half million oaks were at sea in ships of the British Navy.
In front of us now, and for much of this walk, you can see pine trees. These are not native to this forest, and they've been planted to provide a cash crop. The trees are felled when ready, and the wood sold. The bark is sold in garden centres for mulch. The pine trees in this forest, though, haven't been cut down, and there's no plan to do so at the moment. Along this stretch of the walk you get a very good view of the pine plantations on both sides of the path. While we're walking along these forest tracks and paths, Edith runs off the lead. She does a lot of sniffing, as there are all sorts of interesting animal smells here in the forest. That's why she disappears from view for a lot of the time. She's too busy sniffing. Here we can see the beech trees again with their fresh leaves. Behind those trees there's a main road, one of the main roads to the west country. In normal times, when our movements aren't restricted, thousands of cars race past these woods every day in the summer without ever knowing what they're missing. Come on Edith, keep up! Up ahead, you can see a couple of new forest ponies on the left hand side. These live out all year and crop the grass and leaves on the bushes.
The spring is when the forest comes back to life after the winter. Here in this contrasting view we can see the difference between the end of March and the end of April. The bush that you can see coming up on the right hand side is a blackthorn bush out in flower. Lovely flowers at this time of year. More beech trees on our left hand side now. These are younger trees, probably 40 or 50 years old. Keep up Edith!
We're back now to uh, the area with the uh, pine trees. Uh, we have seen a uh, herd of fallow deer here before, but uh, no sign of them today, unfortunately. This is Edith's please give me a treat look. Turning towards home now and we're turning into a path with mature beech trees on either side of us. Come on, Edith. On the left hand side now, you can see that we're coming up to an oak tree which has fallen down in a storm. If you look closely at the top, you can see that it's actually still alive with new leaves sprouting out.
But here we are now, uh, we're nearly back to where we started. This is the uh, patch of the forest with the mature beech trees. We're almost at the end of our walk now. Hope you've enjoyed seeing something of the English countryside in spring. Edith would love to see your comments below and she'd be really grateful if you subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.